An alternative recovery position if somebody might have a spinal injury. Just a different way of putting someone into the recovery position, minimising any twist and minimising movement of the neck. So, first of all, um, cross their leg over towards you, okay? Then what you need to do is move this arm up and underneath their head. Now you're going to very, very carefully lift their head, minimising the amount that you are lifting off the, off the floor. And then you're going to slide that hand underneath her head. So I'm just going to very carefully minimise, and that's just going to neutral, slide that hand underneath like that and rest it on that hand. Then what I'm going to do is take this hand, put it over the top so it's supporting on her cheek, and then I would be holding on her shoulder and her hip, move myself back a bit and very carefully roll her over onto her side. I would then move this knee up to stop her from shifting onto her stomach and I would keep checking that she is breathing. It's absolutely critical to keep checking that she's breathing. If she stops breathing, I would very carefully roll her back onto her back and start CPR. So that's another option for a recovery position, minimising any movement to the neck and the spine.